For the best FIFA 16 tips, check out fifasolved.com. Hi guys, it's Stephen from FIFA Soft. So this is a FIFA 16 career mode video on the player training. Um, you know when you use the, the, the training drills to, to do your players up. I'm going to be pointing out what it's useful for, um, how you should use it, and just talking everything about it. And literally, no stone unturned, absolutely everything you need to know about the player training. And I've made a few mistakes myself. Um, I want to point you out um, respect where respect's due, credit where credit's due rather, that's the saying. Um, Dito Askander is the subscriber, he pointed it out in the, just literally the previous video, the Bundesliga under 21s, he said, what, well, their physicals aren't that good. And I didn't actually notice this. Um, I did a little bit, but you know, I noticed that the pace wasn't that good, but I just thought it was the Bundesliga players in general. But yeah, it's basically the post-May thing. Remember uh, on the Youth Academy last year when I said about the, the May thing, basically it's about you got a player in your youth academy and he's, this is, applies to normal players as well, so don't worry about just youth, it applies to both, youth academy players or, or normal players. Um, in the youth academy though specifically, um, it'd be 64 overall and then when May comes, right at the end of the season you know where you've got to be sacked or keep your job or renew contracts or whatever, there's no games, um, that it suddenly shoot up to like 74 overall with a potential to be blah blah blah, whatever. And um, what you did is if you promoted them after May, their physicals didn't get done up, all their mental stats and all the, you know, all that sort of stuff, strength, pace, reactions, it, it just didn't go up. Um, this is some of the stuff you can't train, by the way, um, in, in, the, in the training drills. So, yeah, you promoted them before May and, and you naturally let them grow. You did the potential glitch um, and if you need to know how to do that, an interactive card will pop up in the, up in the corner or a link in the description for you. Um, yeah, it's um, you had to promote them and just leave, let them grow naturally. And this is what you got to do with the training this year, guys. You got to just leave it. I, I, I was, I've been training players extensively. Don't dis discard those um, them best under 21s because there's something to go by there. You can see which players get to night raid, which specialties they get. But what you got to do is just don't train them, and then you'll have them, the players even better than what I got them. So I'm not going to make that mistake with the upcoming under 21s. But um, it's good. It's gone good so far. I think I've got a lot of tank players from it. But in this, the training. So the first thing I want to talk about is. Um, what sort of players you should do. Goalkeepers, you, you've got to do the goalkeepers. So guys, this is what I'm talking about with the goalkeepers. Um, I'm using Kasper Schmeichel as, as an example here from Leicester City. It's these stats here that you want to concentrate on. With the training, um, with the goalkeepers, you don't need to worry about their physical stats. The only two, you, you know, where the arrows are pointing is where you want to worry about, and you can do that in training. That's all the goalkeepers need. With, with um, the, the, the physical stats you might be thinking are reactions and jumping, yeah, it's nice to get them. But, at the top there, but you know, you don't really need them. You need them ones where the arrow were, they're the proper goalkeeper ones, and they'll grow to be a tank goalkeeper if you get that done up. So on the training, you just go to goalkeepers, which is at the end. You want to ignore penalty saves. You want to go on one-on-one -on -one goalkeeper, which does reflexes, positioning and diving up. Or you want to go on frozen drop kicks, which does handling and kicking up. And you do them two up, and you can train. This is the only play you need to train um, at the beginning and middle of, of career mode to do your players up, the goalkeepers, guys. So now that I've covered the goalkeepers, there's two other types of players that you've got to do. So we're just going to go on to Riyad Mahrez and I've blanked out all the other stats. That's the stats that I'm on about with physical, in regards to physical. Um, you can pause it back if you, it's just looking at the top, you know where it says physical there. Um, so you know, these are the stats that don't get done up, like pace, acceleration, sprint speed, strength. I mean, in a training you can't do pace up, you can't do strength up, you can't do jumping up, you can't do reactions up. You can do stamina and agility up, you can't do balance up. And as for mental, I'm 99% sure you can't do aggression up, but you can do interceptions, attack and position and vision up. And you can do all the technical and you can do all the goalkeeping. So if you're not in control and you can't do certain things, then, you know, you're going to have to do it the way where you just let them know, grow naturally. Get them to have potential to be special guys, this is what you want to do, and let them grow. When they turn 27, 28, 29, then train them. When they're at 90 plus, then you train them. That's when you train them. Um, because you might see, remember Stendara in the, in the Bundesliga video, I saw that he could get a uh, free kick specialist, it was like 79 overall, he needs to get to 86 free kick, and his, his shot power might have been 81, and that needs to get to 86, I thought, there's something there, I, I can do that, and that's what, how you should be doing this, you should be waiting until they're like 90 rated or 89 rated, and they're done up, all their physicals are done up naturally, that, so you, you, you've, you've conned the computer, you've conned the air, you've done it, you've beaten them, you've got your tank, and then you, you make him even better tank to get him to 92 overall, 93 overall even. And you um, 
you just you just train them when they reach 27 28 29 as i say and the final player that you want to train that's the, so it's the goalkeeper you want to train your, your tank when he's done up when his physicals are done up and the final player you want to do up is 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 your old guy so to speak maybe even your tank that you've done up when he's starting to climb when he's like 33 34 35 whenever it may be that he declines that's when you say train a player so you're not you're not using the training as as ea of of, of you know, um, deceived us to, to what we thought we should be doing. We just train them, you know, the young potential players. No, train the goalkeepers, train players um, later in their careers when pretty much EA have done all that they can to do the player up and you take over and to train the older players to prolong their career and stop their stats from declining. So guys, that's player training solved. If you could share the video, I'd really appreciate it. You can subscribe to the channel to stay up to date. Uh, watch any two previous career mode videos by clicking on the screen. And I'll see you for the next tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching.